डियर स्टूडेंट एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट द प्लांट इट्स पार्ट एंड फंक्शंस एंड देयर यूजेस नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट हाउ टू सेव प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स एंड व्हाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस एंड हाउ डू प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स गेट देयर एनर्जी एंड दे आर इंटरडिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर ओके प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स आर इंटरडिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर सो दैट द नेचर can be balanced and we can maintain the ecological balance because some are the carnivorous animals and some are the herbivorous carnivorous are flesh eaters like lion tiger and herbivorous eats herbs okay like green plants so deer are he eating and goat cow buffalo these animals are eating herbs and plants they are herbivorous while those animals which are eating the flesh of other animals they are called carnivorous can you list the name of some carnivorous and herbivorous okay write down in your copy how can we protect plants so as you have planted in your other and the other earthen pot at your home or somewhere you might have planted some plants in the garden also so how you can take care of it how you have protected it by giving it proper sunlight water air okay and sufficient uh, temperature so you are protecting it from excess heat and excess cold also so we, we can protect the plant from excess heat and excess cold means much heat and much cold should not be given otherwise it will be spoiled and we can protect it by keeping it under the special condition and that is called greenhouse under greenhouse you might have seen some plants are kept okay find out a uh, greenhouse plant in your locality where is it okay other than that we are giving it manure so that it is growing properly with the nutrients proper nutrient potash phosphorus whatever is the required okay urea so other than that we are protecting the plant from insects also sometimes insect eat the part of plant flower leaf and fruit so we are not able to get the proper growth and benefit from the plant so we can protect it by it by spraying the pesticides and insecticides to kill the insects and protect the plant from these insects okay and also sometimes rat come in the crop and destroy it all the crops okay and uh, spoils the production productivity of the crop so we have to take care of these other than that why it is why forest uh, how uh, forests are protecting us okay and why should we protect the forest so product a uh, lot of product we are getting from the forest and they prevent from the soil erosion as we are aware of it and um, we can prevent the soil erosion by planting more and more trees which are holding the soil and they will also bring the rain okay and uh, other than that you have to think about if there is no forest how the life will be on the earth it is very difficult okay it is impossible so uh, you have to find out the reasons why the forest are disappearing okay so they are cut uh, because of the in order to get the wood okay and lot of materials we are making from the wood like furniture and houses so these are the point which you can see here and why forest are disappearing you learn those these points read it properly read it loudly okay daily i hope you are developing the practice of reading loudly at home okay so forests are cut to make houses and buildings and forests are also being cut for making factories so sometimes the factories are uh, to be planted in so we have to remove the forest from that area <clears throat> so we must protect the factories to be planted everywhere so that the ecological balance is maintained and interdependence of plant and animals can be sustained now we have to stop the cutting of the tree you can see here the person is cutting tree and the plant is stopping it similarly can you find out what was the chipko movement find it okay okay now what should be done to protect the forest how can we protect the forest we should not cut the plant without any reason like uh, sometimes the road are being made and uh, for that we have to cut the plant in that area in order to make transportation easier of the goods from one place to another place so we have to cut for some reason which is beneficial for the society 
and uh, plants should be protected from diseases more trees should be planted when there is cutting of forest so it is not that we are keep on cutting the plants and trees for making the products papers and other materials but we have to maintain it and um, plant more and more trees to cope up with this okay so you revise these things sometimes the fire break in the forest and can you find out in which country which place the forest broke out okay recently which has spoiled lot of uh, plants and uh, destroyed plants and animals also living in that area can you find out make a note of it from the different sources and write in your copy okay do you know what is one mahotsav one mahotsav where the it is celebrated okay one month of week every year it is observed celebrated so that we can uh, uh, plant lot of saplings okay thousands of saplings are planted as you can see here a student or some person are planting trees you as you are doing and uh, thousands of saplings are planted to uh, protect the environment and maintain the balance okay now they they should be taken care of. as you are aware of the germination of the seed and planting and various part of the plant and their usefulness so when you are planting any tree or seed you have to take care of it till they grow into lovely trees then they will take care of you like parents are taking care of you and expecting that the child will also take care of him or her later on okay when they will be grown up isn't okay i hope it is clear to you now other than the plants we are also protecting the animals okay so how can we protect the animals like you some of you might be having pet uh, animal cat dog okay so you are taking our care of it you are giving food and water for its survival okay you are brushing it uh, to clean make keep it clean and uh, you are allowing it to sleep in a protected and clean place from time to time a doctor is called to for the check up do you know the name of the doctor which is taking care of the animals it is called veterinary doctor okay and the hospital is called veterinary hospital for the treatment of such animals okay and uh, we should take care of the animals some people uh, are ill treating the animals and they are unkind we have to protect the animal also as we are protecting the plants okay so read this chapter thoroughly and you will come to know lot of things and revise it daily other than this for the protection of the animals wildlife sanctuaries are also made in countries okay as you can see here in the map on the map of india some animals are shown so at which place which wildlife sanctuary is there it is shown like this okay like you can see various animals animals uh, elephant lion tiger deer okay various kind of the birds rhinoceros and wild buffalo then wild pig crane duck can you find out in your state in your at your place what which uh, wildlife sanctuary is there okay so animals living in a in the forest okay are wild so they are also useful to us in many ways they help in balancing nature as you can see here and uh, we get many useful things from them as you are aware of it so try to make a map of india and uh, from on the map of india uh, you point out mark these sanctuaries okay this will be very much helpful to you in order to know which place is the sanctuary and you can visit the place whenever you get time you can ask your parent they will take you to that sanctuary okay so you can see here some animals can you name them yes this is chital deer rhinoceros tiger elephant so we are protecting the animals in the wildlife sanctuaries and national park our government has laid some important rules to protect the wild animals and we should not break the rules laid down by these okay parks and sanctuaries in order to protect them so i hope you are able to understand and sometimes poachers are coming and hunters they are killing these animals to get the 
body parts and they sell in the market at high cost okay so this is bad habit we have to prevent these animals from being killed by such poachers and we have to inform the authority for protecting these thing animals okay i hope it is clear to you read this chapter revise whatever points we have discussed in this chapter make a note of it and you should be able to answer the questions based on this chapter in the exercise okay so go through it and read it so you are able to do the exercise based on this chapter to save plants and animals and like here you can see how do green plants make their own food you are aware of it okay how they make food with the help of sunlight water nutrient okay and uh, you are giving manure also so you have to read the chapter and write accordingly similarly how the animals depend on plants so plants are being eaten by the animals what type of animal they are called herbivorous animals and some other animal eat the animals they are called carnivorous animals so they are dependent on plant herbivorous eat the plant and carnivorous eat the other flesh it okay of the other animals so they are dependent on the plant now next what would happen if the carnivora increase in their number if the carnivorous like lion tiger increase in the number they will become cattle lifters okay they will eat uh, the other animal like cow goat buffalo okay so we should think about it now what conditions are necessary for proper growth of plants so necessary condition sunlight and proper heat and cold as you are aware greenhouse okay plant we are uh, making for the protection of the plants you have read about it revise it so you can answer easily all the questions now other like uh, give two important uses of the forest you are aware of it you can list it and uh, what should be done to protect forest we have discussed this similarly you can write very easily how do we take care of domestic animals okay which hospital is called can you recall it yes veterinary hospital okay where the doctors are called veterinary doctor to protect the animals correct now how do we take care of the domestic animals what measures you are taking for protecting them regarding sleep and uh, in giving food okay you are aware of it you have read this okay revise it and write it what are the sanctuaries meant for we have discussed about the national park and the sanctuaries to protect the animals under the government laid rules okay right so other than that true false you can see here and you should be able to answer read it go through it and fill in the blanks do it in your copy and uh, match the column also and some activities are there make to read this activity and go through it we will discuss it later on okay and it will be given to you for your uh, enrichment and activities okay thank you very much i hope it is clear to you read it loudly okay thank you very much